Hey folks! In this video we are working on an ancient Egyptian style statue made of granite. Now you join me as I'm already working on carving the fine features on the statue. Uh, that's because the footage from the beginning got corrupted and so I don't have it. I had to make do with putting together whatever bits and pieces of video I had. <laughs> so such is technology, sometimes it fails us. Now, I can't get credit for making this whole statue. I got it with the rough shape already made from my friend Mohammed from his shop in Egypt. I saw this one on the shelf and said, yes, that's the one I want. And he asked, well, do you want us to finish it up for you? And no, no, I want to give it a try at finishing it myself. So, here we are. <laughs> Of course, over there they do this stuff with more traditional tools. They do use some power tools sometimes, but more or less it's traditional work, which is absolutely amazing. Granite is a phenomenally hard rock. It's unforgiving, it doesn't often do what you want it to do. Over here, because I'm spoiled by technology, I'm using diamond-coated bits and files and electric rotary tools and modern sandpaper, so I'm cheating. <laughs> But even with modern equipment, it took me literally weeks of on and off work to finish this. This statue is in pharaonic style with a Nimes headdress, and as such, I chose to write some royal titulary on the back, as it would be traditional. That also took forever. When it came time to polish the granite, I went on a little trip to the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts to take an up-close look at how the surface finish look on the collection of Egyptian statues they have there. This is amazing, it's like the surface has been burnished and this is actually easier to do, it takes longer, but it's easier to do with traditional methods. Power tools are more difficult to get this kind of finish. After checking these out, I opted for a semi-gloss polish, leaving the lines on the Neem's headdress and the pleating marks on the kilt unpolished for contrast. To use the rotary tool to help polish it, I had to make a whole bunch of custom sanding discs to use. The last bit of polish had to be done by hand. The polishing took days of on and off work, but eventually... I'm overall very pleased with how it turned out. I feel it does sufficient justice to the artistic style I was going for, that is, the classical stylized formal ancient Egyptian sculpture style, with a rather stiff pose with the arms right next to the torso and the left foot forward, and I think it came out great. Especially considering I hadn't worked with granite in literally decades, and I had never really sculpted a face in granite. <laughs> So let us know what you think in the comments, and as always, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.